What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, aka Safe on Outdoors. Today, we're back in one of my favorite places, the California Delta. We don't really have a plan today. We're just going out to go fish. Hopefully, we run into some numbers, or hopefully, we catch a big one, maybe both. I don't know. But we're gonna try our best today. Come on. That doesn't look like bushes to me. That looks like a big school of fish, but I could be really wrong too. It could just be like the Delta grass. rattling so it's a plastic it makes a little sound too i think this, this is my first time ever buying something like this but let me try it and see if it, get, it works water's a little dirty today so i feel like a darker presentation it's a little bigger than the one i was just using and it's rattling so everything to help bass notice it Let's see if that works. That's my first bite in two trips out, man. Oh, Senko gets it done. Dang, there's so much bait right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's what's popping up on my graph. That's gotta be shad, I think. Maybe if I get that on video. Look at that. That's what's been popping up on my graph. My fish finder. There's gotta be some bass back here trying to eat them, right? That's super cool. Well, after seeing that, after seeing that little bait ball, seeing what they look like, I think this matches the hatch pretty well. I don't really have much to go off of because I don't know if bass are eating them, but I really think I should be throwing something like this. And it's almost high tide. High tide is in about 20 minutes or so. And then we'll be fishing outgoing after that. So maybe the, the peak high tide makes a difference or the outgoing tide, they start biting. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure them out. Just tied on this little underspin. That's all that was working for me my last trip out to the Delta. So I'm gonna use another underspin. A little small presentation. I decided to go with uh, kind of a more of a shad pattern. Not just all white, but a black bag. Kind of like a light blue belly. That's similar to. Um, the big fish that I've been seeing, they've been more like light blue, a little shiny. So I'm hoping this this will work.
Oh, there you go. Got one. We got an underspin, baby. First one all day. It's only been like five minutes and I started using it too. Might be a sign. There you go. Underspin did it. Here it is. Nice little, I don't know, maybe 11 incher. Might not even be 12. It's fat though. A little tiny belly shirt on. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna start to make my way back, start fishing on the way back. Maybe the outgoing tide, something changes, maybe fish get more active. But I don't wanna keep having my port. Fish out of the bite. Go. Oh yeah, I'm throwing this for sure. Oh, that's a good one too, guys. Second cast with the Berkeley Cone Shad. Oh, what a switch. What a switch. I didn't even have my chesty on. What a switch, guys. Second cast with the Berkeley Cone Shad. Oh, and it chewed it too. That's a good one too. Woo! Yes, sir. Look at this hook set though. Kind of watch it eat too. I was seeing the white, white uh koshad just near the top and it just disappeared. And I'm like, oh, oh man. Oh man. Got him. Yes, sir. Oh it's shallow too. Maybe they just wanted something bigger. Not gonna wet. Just gonna. Come on, man. Just wanna get a length real quick. Alright, oh, it's not closing his mouth. Sorry, right, it's not official. It's okay. Right around a 17. And a half. Oh, no, touching 18. 18 inches. That'd be a good kayak bass right there. Second cast with the Berkeley Cold Shad, baby. Yes, sir. Oh. oh, this is the bait. Here it is. All white Berkeley Cold Shad. I almost didn't bring this thing too. Oh man. Threw it right in between some grass. Threw it right there. Just swimming it back. Next thing you know something just bam. Smashed it. Oh, that really gets my heart pumping right there. No bite for a couple of hours. Next thing you know, 18 incher, like three pounder, comes out of nowhere and smashes the biggest bait of the day. Six inch Berkeley Cold Shad. That's fun right there. Looks like I know what I'm throwing for the rest of the day. I don't mind it. It's a big bait, so the bites are already slow. Might as well try to get the bigger ones when they do bite. And I feel like this is a great bait to target striper too. So if there is any striper in the area, they'll come for it.
Look at the jet skier. That's a good one. Let's go, baby. That's two in like 10 minutes, baby. Good ones, too. You think they want the cold shad, baby? Check this out. Oh. Bruh, check this out. You think they want it? That's a six inch bait, bruh. Check it out. Ooh. Let's go, baby. Might be on to something. Might be on to something. That's another good one right there. A little belly shirt. Fat for feeding up on all that shad right there. I knew they wanted some. Some kind of bait fish. It was just so many schools of bait. Look at that. Found out what they want. Just had to up the bait a little bit. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> they went from slow and kind of bad so i'm happy now made it worth it getting out here i love the delta that's exactly why outgoing tide now i don't even know if i should post this video i feel like everybody gonna be throwing one i kind of want to keep the juice to myself <laughs> Greg Blencher already posted it too, and I feel like that's already gonna cause some traction. All the all the bait fish, they almost look exactly like this, right? They're this exact same size. So when the bass see so many of it, why bother and go and attack this one? Right? But if you see this comes through, this pops out so much more. This is a little bigger and it's all white. And just give them something else, something different to entice them rather than the bait fish they've been seeing all this time. The other one's in schools and this one's by itself. So I see why this one is not working too well. And this one is getting the bites right now. Alright, enough talk. There goes another one. I seen that one. Oh, it's even bigger. That's a big one. That's a big. One. Let's go, baby. That's a big. This, is this my PB? Is this my PB, guys? Get in there. Oh. oh, guys, guys, the bite turned on. Let's go. That's a big, guys. That's a big. My camera is messing up right now. I don't know what's going on. Oh. It's okay, I got this back one though. Check this out. It's not my PB, but that is another good one, guys. That's a quick, that's been like 20 minutes and the bite turned on for me. Check this out. Berkeley Koshad is getting it done. Drop shot wasn't working. Senko wasn't working. The Berkeley Koshad, baby. Woo, pre-spawn, look how fat they are. Oh man. Oh. Better take the gloves off, baby. Let's go. Right now I'm just coming off the shore a little bit, taking like a foot off the grass. Letting my uh, my bait drop a little bit and just swimming it back. I think it really was just a key difference, just letting the bait stand out. I was matching the hatch too much. There was too much bait going around, so I think something that stood out a little more really helped the bite. Up the bait size and made it all white. And they're also healthy too. You see them, they all got shoulders. They all got a belly on them.
That's matching the hatch right there. Check that out. That's what the fish are eating. A bunch of shad right now. All up in the shallows. But that's what was working right there. Berkeley coal shad. That's the money right there. That Berkeley coal shad just up the bait size a little bit and that's what started working. Everything else, I think it's just too small or it's just too similar. They'd rather go eat the actual shad than go for my bait. But put that in front of their face. Like, Ooh, what's that? Bam. All right, everyone. That's going to be it for this one. It was a pretty interesting day, man. You know, other than that little flurry that I ran into where I caught those three nice bass, it was pretty much slow the entire day. And it is pre-spawn right now, but there was tons of shad swimming around, all around, really. And I, I don't know if the bass were feeding on them or if they were just in the area, but that's definitely what I tried to use as a clue. But majority of stuff that I threw didn't work. I threw the underspin. It's the only thing that I caught a fish on, um, other than that cold shad. Threw spinner bait, crank bait. I was also flipping for a little bit and nothing was working. So I'm very thankful the cold shad came through and uh, super grateful for catching those three. I know it's not a crazy epic day, but a, it's much better than the past couple trips where I just keep on skunking and skunking. Definitely brought some confidence back into myself. And, um, and yeah, if you guys stuck around and watch this entire video, I appreciate you. Please give a like, comment, or subscribe. As always, I'll catch you next time.